Um, I guess the first load of questions really came in about um, the regulations, um, particularly you know, sort of regional regulations. Um, so there are large expectations on this portion of the industry. How do you think regional regulation is responding to help make your efforts a success? Um, Ryan, I know you mentioned some of this and the carrot and stick ideas in particular. Um, do you think the right conversations are being had at the correct levels um, when it comes to regulation? As far as conversations, yes, I think many regulators and government agents in general, they understand the end goal of where they want to get to, but maybe they don't have a great idea of how to actually get there. So many times when we have discussions with regulators at the state level, the county level, the federal level, they end up asking questions more than they end up, you know, essentially stating different types of regulations. You know, they really want to be educated about what is needed, what they should be looking for. Specifically, when you look at the transportation side, the packaging, the storage of these types of materials, whether they're universal waste, whether they're damaged materials and classified as hazardous waste, how they apply to different long-standing rules, you know, specifically the, the RICRA rule that the EPA put in quite a while ago. They want to know what they should be asking. And, you know, they really are looking to be educated by company uh, industry insiders. And I think their willingness to understand and learn the industry first is very reassuring. And then they really want to help facilitate the growth of this because they, they really do see the risks that it presents to the U.S. as a whole. And they want to help incubate and facilitate this industry. Yeah, brilliant. Um, 